you, you make you stronger. So don't say because this guy do this to me, then okay, because another man is coming out to touch. Exactly. Because I didn't kill you, that would make you stronger. <laughs> like again, it's a very girl as is that, and I'm here with my naughty, naughty husband today. Can't again. believe, can't believe I got dragged into this again. But yeah, you will always be here, like. But I promise you guys, my face will be scarred in a little while because I'll get pretty, pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um I remember I posted a video about how we met myself and my husband. So um that's the reason why I have my husband here with me today. Because a topic was raised by one of my SNAP fam. And I do say if you have any comment or you want me to discuss about anything, I'm more than happy to discuss it. So my husband is here with me today because some one of my SNAP fam sent me a message and she actually want me to discuss it here on my YouTube channel. She said she would actually love if I can discuss the whole topic here because so we don't know maybe someone else is actually going through the same thing as well at the moment or not so that's why we are back here again with my husband well that's just quite um an interesting thing i'm happy to answer the question and hopefully um as you watch this video you learn one or two things from it so now go ahead with the question okay so i have this beautiful lady According to what she said to me, according to what she said, she said she met a boyfriend on Facebook 2012 and um, they live in the same country. Right. Then after a couple of years, I think the boyfriend moved to another country. So ah, good. it's just the girl in the... Just like us. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, um, but the whole situation, the whole story goes like this, that the after two years, of their courtship that the lady later find out that the husband has no sorry the lady later find out that the boyfriend has a child wow elsewhere wow but according to what she said again was that she knows that the uh, the boyfriend was married before but he's divorced but he never said to the girl that he had a child involved yeah, yeah, yeah all right so she said after she finds out, after two years of their dating, she let her find out. And you know, <clears throat> the lady thought like it's not a big deal. it's not a big deal because okay, fine, he doesn't tell me. I'm really upset about it. But yeah, they did this done, there's nothing she can do. Exactly. That's a very wise lady. Yeah, that is. So after that after four years of their dating again. Continuous? She, yes relationship okay yeah. she find out that this same boyfriend had a baby outside again nine years old wow yeah nine years old <laughs> well because she loves him yeah she still forgive him again yeah wow she's got a big heart i guess she is what wow. a beautiful soul a big one <laughs> so later she said they will still keep on dating because you know according to what she said like, is this still the, is this still the distance is they, they, she keeping the distance yeah or? after two years wow. the boyfriend moved away so they still this distance so, so after she found out about the second child they still kept this they still do they still continue the distance relationship or yeah. they're still together in the same place no distance relationship okay so what that happened at the end of the day she said she forgave him yeah so they started dating but after a couple of months he made the message her uh, telling her uh, that leave my boyfriend leave my husband alone Boom. yeah what's like bombshell, a bombshell. Wow. this beautiful young girl sorry this beautiful young lady tried to message the guy but he blocked her off all the area that the, the lady can contact her all the social media whatsapp everywhere so this girl can't get through it because she said she actually so, so, believes she needs an explanation. Yes, she even does. Even before. Yes, she does. So now they're not. They're not. They're, so she she's not in any way in contact with him anymore. No, so what not happened to the 
five six years long distance relationship that's what she wants us to discuss because she uh, says right now she's not <clears> happy <throat> she's very very sad well she's confused and she even still said she loves this guy like up to this moment that's uh, that's uh well that's a very good one uh to some people they would think that she's stupid yeah after you find out the first one you you went ahead and 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 you let go. You let and go. Still and still, exactly, and yeah, it's just like um, uh, to be honest with you, that girl has got a very big heart. She's not stupid for accepting the fact that um, this person has got a kid, and and I I accepted him the way that he is because it's it's very rare in these days and age to keep a long distance relationship for, for several years and still oh. find out some things about this this girl and at the end of the day so listen let me there's more no before we go before we say anything yeah we had this dance relationship it it really works perfectly for us which it will work out for some people but it won't mm. for some people but there is one thing our relationship started with trust he also had the baby a baby girl and from onset he explained the whole thing to me like this is what is going on then it's not left for me like okay i don't want to date a man with a baby or not it doesn't matter we live if everybody make choices in life yeah. whether be it wrong or be it right like i read it on social media uh, there's a guy that was celebrating his wife after getting married for the seventh time saying that this is the right choice i've ever made in my life and called all his other night kids bastards well yeah because probably the reason why he did that probably because he has uh made some right wrong choices in the past made some mistakes in the past or later find out that those kids were in his and all that but yeah to, to to cut the long story short if you want to be it's 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 well i know we guys try as much as we can to to be very plain clean and you know you know but yeah, it's always good to build a relationship with trust. Well, to be, to be honest with you, I also, uh, I can't tell you that I didn't lie to her at, 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 at the very beginning of our relationship. There's still some things that I said that I really lied, that I had a little bit of lie before she could say yes, you know. But at the end of the day, I still had to come back to myself and I said, this thing is getting real. And if I do not say these things before she, this gets further, then I'm putting myself in a very deep or at the end of the day I'm gonna lose the love of my life. It's 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 very important to always have it at the back of your mind that not just that you're involved in someone's heart, but you're involved in someone's emotion, someone's life, someone's like like this lady, she she still loves him after yeah. finding out after two years. Man, nobody does that. For the first time, second time. Exactly. And, and also and she doesn't even get any explanation. Well, how could, how could someone be again, so heartless like that? And again, she knew that he was married before, and the child came out after the marriage, which is very understandable. That well, that's very understandable. The guy is even meant to tell the lady that okay, since you knew that yeah, we married, I uh, that I was once married. Exactly. Okay, I have a kid. Well, well, we all do a lot of well at, at, at our tender, at, you know, at a teenage age. What, like I said, um, while we're growing up and all that, we do make a lot of mistakes, probably. Yeah drinking and all that and things happen and you know but we should always be upfront when when it comes to having to be a life or relationship having yeah. to keep someone for that long it, it really matters for us to be upfront because if we're not upfront then we're building a relationship like building a foundation to fill in the nearest future yeah. because at the end of the day if i hide something that the reason why, i believe the reason why this man didn't had to cut off the communication with this lady is because yeah, I believe, no besides no explanation, he has a lot on his sleeves that he didn't tell this girl. Yeah. And he felt that if I continue with this relationship, I'm gonna hurt this girl, and that's the reason why he no, had to cut off. No, that's not the reason because that is not even a genuine reason. Well, I'm, I deserve I'm an saying. explanation yeah, if you, that happened to me. Okay, for example, let's let's look at it this way. Yeah, this happens to the both of us. Yeah, as a man. I look at it this way, I've hurt you this bad. Yeah. And probably he has moved on with someone else because it's a long distance relationship. You don't know what is happening in between. You yeah. know? Yeah, let's be realistic, yeah. So at at that moment, yeah, they've 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 parted with her for quite long and he felt that there's no point in me deceiving this girl after this girl finds out and this is going on. So yeah. probably the person who called her was planned. 
by, not, the, not by my, the boyfriend. Might not be planned. It might be true that he's, he's got to marry another person wherever he is. You don't know. I believe this lady deserves an explanation because she said she's still in love with him. Well, okay, hey girl, like I'm really sorry, this and that. Okay, I don't love you anymore. Then the girl cannot. To be honest see, with see, me, to be like, honest with me, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, I will tell you the honest truth. Yeah, and wherever this has happened to, I don't know who you are, but I'll tell you the honest truth. You don't need. That you don't need. Anymore. To give out your heart to someone who doesn't deserve you. Yeah. I'm saying this. Yes, I, I know I'm saying this. I, it can happen to anybody. But the the people out there who truly, who truly, who really deserves your kind of person, who truly deserves the true love that someone is neglecting. And another thing I also want you to take into, into consideration is just that everything happened for a reason. Yeah. Don't look down on whatever happens. If if this door doesn't shut, another door would not open. Yeah. If if this didn't happen, you wouldn't learn a lesson for other things. Like before I met my wife, I've been in several relationships. Talk about relationships, I've had several, and and I I don't see them as 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 a setback, or I don't see them as things that uh, that makes me sad. I see them as an opportunity for me to grow myself. That even me, make you stronger. Exactly. For me to where I've been today. It's not that we don't face challenges in our relationship. Personally, we do. Several times. Yeah. But the level of which I've attained, the things that I've gone through has made me understand how to deal with it. So at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's not about how far, but how well you've been able to sustain your marriage. Getting married is very easy. Having that that boyfriend, that girlfriend is very easy. But that maintaining, it's it's always been the maintaining aspect, having to keep that relationship in form. It's where the job is. That's where the yeah. real job is. And it all brings about what you need to contribute. So another thing that I want you to understand that I watched this video on, on my Instagram. It says as every lady, okay, she she gave an the lady woman gave an illustration. She said that I wanted to travel abroad. Husband, I said. I want to travel and he said, please don't travel, stay here with me, I need you for one thing or the other. And you decided not to go, that means you obeyed. Yeah. But if you do not have the money to travel, you are looking out to your husband to travel and you are expecting him to give you the money to travel and yeah. you talk to him and say, I don't have it and you're not going. It's not that I cannot give you, but it just shows that he's not going to give you. And you decide not to go. That means you don't need to know, but you just you have, have to accept. Money. Yeah, because you don't have the money. So that's one thing I want you to understand. As, as, as a woman, you also need to work on yourself. So that nobody can just come from nowhere and just take advantage of your pure heart just like that. Yeah, but according to the lady, she said to me that not even that this guy is spending on her. Exactly. So she has her own work. She's that's what I'm only trying to say. I don't believe the guy is just is heartless. Well, every to be from to, my own point of view, I'm not saying that okay, this is what you should do or not. But if I were in your shoe, I would just let him be exactly to be honest with you because there is no I'm, after how many months. Fine, I'm, it's not easy to let go. I'm, it's not easy but it's not easy definitely to let go of such a long distance relationship yeah. which so and much that's part, of the, that's part of what she's actually considering and, and and lastly before i go i have this other story to share this happened to to someone that i truly knew in england several years back and to be honest with you it happened to her and she didn't regret the step that she took this is how it goes she went to england with her boyfriend so getting to England, yeah, so the both of them were studying. So when they got to England, they were both studying. So in different schools, but they still maintained the relationship. This is the people that are together. And look at what happened. Now, after a while, the, the guy says, oh, we need, I need to start getting, you know, I need to start doing some few things to get papers and all that. So he's like, oh, I saw this girl who I'm interested in and she loves me and blah, blah, blah. I want to use her, you know. That's not the way people do. And I, that's how they started. And the girl, because the girl knew okay, because the guy wanted to use it so that at the end of the day they can help themselves. You know how it, how it happens. The first baby came, the girl got pregnant. I had to explain to the girlfriends like, I'm sorry, you know, it happened, blah, blah, blah. You know, and meanwhile, while this girl 
was with this boyfriend that they came to England together. There's this man that's stopping this girl that I want to marry you. I'm interested in you. And the girl says, no, I don't like you. I like this, my boyfriend. The boyfriend that you like has impregnated another girl. Look at that. Now, to cut the long story short, the girl gave birth. They moved in together. Ignore the girl that they came to, get to England together. Because this girl truly loves you, wants you to have the best, ask you to do whatever you can to get what you want, but please do not neglect me. By the end of the day, he went ahead and impregnated, uh, impregnated the girl. They moved in together, gave it to the first child. What happened to the girl? She was left heartbroken. Now, look at this. The man that has been disturbing her from the day one, that I really like you, that you're insulting, she had just had to give him a chance. Although she didn't love the man, but she had to give him a chance because at that moment she felt so empty. And guess what? This girl didn't suffer for anything, for papers or whatever. The man that came already had papers. They got married, gave birth. She told me categorically, she said, it's not that I really love him, but there's still some things I don't like about him. But for the fact that it, it makes me happy, it deserves my heart. And now she's got three beautiful kids with the man. She's got zero worries and she's doing pretty good. So if that boyfriend that they came to England together with didn't act the way he did, this door wouldn't have opened. If what happened with her boyfriend didn't happen, she wouldn't have met the man that she's with today that makes her happy. So that's what I'm just trying to let you understand. It's just that it's not everyone who you think you truly love deserves your heart. That's how it is. And like I said, if one door didn't shut, another door wouldn't, wouldn't be open. And for long distance relationship, my advice is just pretty simple. If you're going to be in any long distance relationship, be it a man, be it a woman, it's always good to be upfront. Be upfront with whatever the past is. Sincere. Let, be sincere. Build that relationship with a wonderful foundation. Because, trust. And, yeah, because a, a relationship without trust. It's no, definitely no relationship. It's like building a house without foundation. Foundation. At the end of the day, how do you expect the house to stay, to stay too long? It will definitely, definitely collapse. collapse. But if you have a very strong concrete foundation, despite the fact of wherever you are, be it I'm here, be it, be it in America, be it in Australia, it doesn't matter. But as long as there's trust, there's love, and and you be upfront with yourself in the relationship, set goals of what you want, definitely it will definitely work out. One rule is build the, the, the trust. And build a wonderful, build that wonderful foundation when you're starting a relationship. And it doesn't matter if you get separate later on. It sure will definitely work out. And those are the secrets for a long, long distance relationship. Not even just long distance relationship. That's for all relationships. For all relationship, definitely. That's because it. I can't imagine me having to date someone who has lied to me from the beginning. At the end of the day, I figure that you've been lying to me. It's it's gonna be hard. I'll be able to say for you to lie from the beginning. That means, that means you don't you, love the exactly. Person. And at the end of the day, probably you're looking for something from her, or he's looking for something from you, and that's yeah. the reason why the lie came about. But people do change at some time. Don't get me wrong. People change. There are some people that they they wanted to date you just to cheat you after a couple of months, maybe and, after having and, sexual intercourse. Then they later love you sincerely. Yeah. So things change. Like like what I mentioned in my last video. That I said, um, a, a woman went in for a one night stand. At the end of the day, they became wonderful uh, together and they found each other, they're compatible. So that's how it starts. So anything can change, but let's just be sincere with each other because it really goes it a long way. way. When you're in a relationship with someone, always learn to always satisfy. Make sure you do your very possible best to make sure that your other partner is satisfied with whatever is happening so that the both of you can grow together. So that's it all for me today and I hope but, I've been able to pass the message from you to you guys. Yeah, I my, my only two advice is that if like according to what he said that if you want to start a relationship, start it with trust. It's not that you meet the person the first and uh, the first time you tell your own life story. No. But it's casual. You it's need casual to let the person, person know the up. important one. Okay, I have a kid. I have a child. Yeah. yeah. I'm married before. Yeah, this is how it happens. But it's not the first day that it happens. But you know, it's a gradual thing. As long as you you taking the a step you together. Know, yeah. Taking a step together and. If you take the step together, walk together, then you find things that are working out for the both of you. you have but to if take one person is taking, taking one step and you're behind, yeah. it's going to be a problem. It's definitely going to be a problem. Yeah, it's a... So, 
no relationship is perfect no. we are we are all still struggling because we don't even know the real definition of love we're at still all. struggling at all i wouldn't say today yeah my relationship is the best but i am happy yeah, exactly. i'm happy and we do fight but we sort it out but we don't he, he knows let me say everything about me my past is something that you need to let out and, you need and to, one thing never judge each other with your past never ever Obviously, if you want to date some, someone, you can't judge the person with the past. No, if, if you, after telling you my past, and you want to use that to judge me, yeah, while you're on your or own. probably we are we're having an argument, and you say to 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 to, 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 know, to bring it up. That's wrong. Totally wrong. It won't even make the relationship stronger at all. Because if something else happened, why the either the girl or the the man is not there, you won't even be proud to get to the person like, oh, this is what happened to me yesterday, because you'll be thinking inside of yourself that. She's going to use it against me. Against me, and, and that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. That doesn't make sense. It wouldn't even make a relationship work. Yeah, definitely. So, um, my own advice to this beautiful lady is that she should, it's not easy, but she should just let the guy be. Yeah, open your, your you've got a beautiful heart. I, I can say that, but you need to open your heart for several opportunities. Once beaten is twice, twice shy. shy. You need to open your heart for several opportunities, and don't yes. think because don't think this let you down, but always learn. From it so that it doesn't repeat itself again yeah and every disappointment at times is surely a blessing. a blessing it's a blessing what doesn't kill you make you stronger so don't say because this guy do this to me then okay because another man is coming i have to judge exactly i, I don't really have much to say but don't think because i've had a, i've had a bad experience with a guy so every other guys are bad no, no. the same way you go through the same thing there is another guy out there going through the same thing as you are exactly so i would say guys are bad and i would say ladies are bad we we're just ourselves yeah so we are able to pass a little message to you and i hope you understand what we are trying to give out anyway so, so that's, that's it for us today. today thank you for watching we help you. And if there's anything you want us to discuss, if anything you're not clear with, just Please comment on Please feel free to leave a comment in the description down box below. We're more than happy to reply. It's always here anytime. No, if you no, haven't no, subscribed no. to my channel, please subscribe after watching this video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up.